In today's video, I'm going to show you how to navigate the MetaTrader 5 application. So the first thing is when you open the application, you're going to see what we call the Quotes tab, the Quotes tab here. When you click on it, the Quotes tab you see on Startup gives us a list of instruments you can trade with. You can add more instruments by clicking on the plus icon. So this plus icon here, yeah, when you tap the instrument, it appears on the Quotes tab. So I'm going to go to the Forex indicator area and then i um, pick on any instrument of my choice so let's say i want to trade usd ngn so i'm going to click on it and then when i go back i'm going to see it here so you see this is usd uh, ngn so that's it. you can also remove instruments by clicking the pencil icon and then the bin icon like i want to remove the same instrument that i just added so i'm going to go to click the pencil icon and then click the bin icon then i click the ngn and then press delete so it's deleted then to place a trade i you tap the instrument for example euro usd or yeah so i'll tap on euro usd euro usd then i go to new order new order helps us to open a new order okay it helps us to open a trade okay when you click on it you open a trade you as you can see we have sell by market we also have buy by market okay then we also have what we call the charts option okay the chart option now the chart option that's from here when i click on the euro usd from the chart option it takes you to the charts to see how the particular instrument is behaving okay so for example if i click on it it's going to show me the chart of euro usd okay yeah this is how euro usd is and has been behaving for so this is the daily chart so I, of course i can change the time frame so this is it this is the four hour chart and this is the one hour chart okay then still back to the still on the euro usd now we can when you click on it again it's going to show you another option which is the properties now the property just displays the details of the contract specifications okay you don't need to bother yourself about this too much so just you can just ignore that then we also have what we call the market statistics the market statistics is a breakdown of the pricing information okay it's a breakdown of the pricing information we have the bid the bid high bid low ask high ask high ask low open price close price and all of that okay so all those are not so necessary in uh, as regards to what i'm about what i'm trying to pass across to you then we also have the simple view mode okay the simple view mode gives us uh it's just a view okay we also have other options like the advanced view mode so it has changed to advanced view mode. So we, um, I'm going to take it back to the simple view mode. So that's that's about that. Then uh, we go to what we call, um, okay, let's say you want to place a trade, okay? You clicked on the new order option, okay? Let's say you want to place a trade and you click on the new order option. There are different kinds of trades you can place, okay? different kinds of place trades you can place we have what we call um, the market execution now the market execution is the most popular kind of trade you can place what this just does is that you enter the market immediately or at the current market price so whether you're buying or selling whether you're buying or selling you just enter here so as you can see at the top here this is my card jpy i just clicked on it and then you can see market execution there so we can either buy or sell immediately it's going to be triggered at the exact market price okay then we have the next option which is called the buy stop the buy stop simply tells us that as the market moves up we say the market so this is the buy stop when you click on this you're going to see buy stop so we're saying that as the market moves up let's say the market is bullish of course terms like that you're going to understand them very soon but bullish simply means it's on a buying run on a is going up then bearish means it's going down so let's say the market is bullish we buy 
as the market moves down, we say the market is bearish, so we sell. Do you understand? So I'm going to place for a buy stop trade now. We simply place our pending order, pending buy order somewhere above the current market price, above the current market price. So if I click on buy stop now, it's going to show me a price area. So now I'm going to have to place my trade at a point where the market has not got into yet. So as it's going up and it finally triggers that particular trade, it will activate it. Okay. So I'm going to place it somewhere above the current market price and the trade is activated when the price reaches the point where I placed my order. Okay. And then for, for a sell stop, for a sell stop, which we can find still the same area. Still, let me open the card JPY order sell stop yes so the same thing i am saying that the market is going to go down so it's basically the opposite of the buy stop in this case as the market drops i place my trade below below the current price so that i am triggered into the trade when the price drops and gets to that point so that's what the sell stop and um, is all about then we also have what we call the buy limit we have what we call the buy limit so let me open it now the buy limit is i expect the market to go up to be bearish but then i placed my order below the market price so that as the market drops it activates it and then starts buying okay and then the sell limit is the opposite in this case i expect a bearish market so but i place my trade above the current market price so that as the market rises that's for the sell limit so as the market rises to the order it activates it and then it drops okay then we also have yeah we also have what we call uh, the buy stop limit and the sell stop limit. so it, i'm not going to talk much about that but you can just ignore that then i want to quickly move to another point where we have looking at your trades here Looking at this same, okay, sorry, order. Looking at the same new order, you notice something where where was written SL. SL actually means stop loss. Now we use this stop loss to specify a particular point where we expect our broker to close our trades automatically if the price is going against our predicted or anticipated direction. So this means it helps us to, like the name implies, literally stop the loss. And then looking at the right hand side, you see what, what was written TP. TP simply stands for take profit. We use this to specify a particular point where we expect the broker to close our trades automatically as price goes in our favor. This is closing profit. Okay, so that's what we call TP, take profit. Now let's look at the um, chart tab. So sorry, I, I could have made an example, but this is Saturday and Saturday is um, the market is closed. So won't be able to take any trade so let's look at the chart tab but it's very simple anyway so looking at the chart tab some of the options some of the options you see on the chart tab okay now we have what we call um the crosshair the crosshair we use to pinpoint if you look at uh, look at the top you notice something like a plus it's called the crosshair okay yeah when you click on the crosshair we use it to pinpoint prices on the charts okay the crosshair then we also have what we call um the indicator we have the indicator so when you click on the indicator it helps you to add pre-installed indicators on the charts okay pre-installed indicators for example let's say i want to add average directional movements adx so i come here click and boom go back to the chart so you see indicator has been added okay then we have what we call the symbol we can also change the instrument from here, the symbol, okay? You can use that to change your instrument, sorry. Um, sorry, this is actually the time frame, not the symbol. So when you click on this, you can navigate to any of the time frames, maybe H4, 4-hour, W1, that's weekly charts. 
you can also switch to the weekly uh, 15 minutes chart or whatever okay so that is that and also we have um, a quick when you click on the other stuff there the last thing you're seeing there it's going to give you the options of doing a quick buy so you can open a quick trade like immediately almost immediately so you can click on sell and click on buy so you if you notice they are not activated that's to tell you that you can't buy now neither can you sell now because the market is simply on holiday okay all right then we move straight into what we call the um trade tab when you click on the trade tab it's going to show you where your trading accounts activity is, is you see when you tap any trade you can add more you can add more details about the trade okay when you long press a particular trade you get the options to modify close and um put new order so this is the trade tab if you notice this is a new account i actually had to open this account for the purpose of this demonstration so there's nothing here no money has been added here at all so this just tells us balance equity and free margin so let's say we enter the trade and we come to this point where we have trade that's where you're going to see everything running okay so that's that then when you move to the history point yeah the same thing the history just shows you your history okay and um, all of that so that's basically that i hope this video helps you to navigate the metatrader 5 application a lot easier i'm still going to be making more videos anyway but if you have any question you could don't just feel free to drop it in the comment section below thank you for watching